Hey guys, this is Triple Me Timbers, and you're watching the last Ash Gray episode of this entire walkthrough. Hooray! We will end this journey by having an epileptic seizure and doing impossible things, apparently. Um, no, I, I have not been dead. I did not rise from the grave just to narrate this. And this isn't the last video because I'm quitting or something. It's because I found... No, I'm not going to help you. Whatever you want, you creepy nerd guy. This isn't the last video because I decided, screw you guys, I'm going off the internet. It's because I I kind of found out about the newest, latest, complete, finalized Ash Gray beta, and I patched it. So then, off you go. No, that's not what I was going to say, dude. I was going to say, so I kind of lost all my Ash Gray files, and so now I have the newest beta, but um, it's kind of, I have to start over. So, but I... I played through a few minutes of it, and it is changed beyond belief, and here we are. So, I'm definitely going to start a new walk walkthrough. Um, dude, there's a head and Pokeballs, which you cannot steal. You again? Uh, uh, I want to steal those Pokemon. Go, Porygon Zero! And uh, not, not so much here. You see, Porygon, Porygon Zero, no, they not working. So, and I... Uh, okay, I can never remember which of the Porygons, Porygon 1, 2, Infinity, whatever, Porygon 0, it is that traces your typing, or your ability, or whatever. So I thought, oh boy, maybe it traced Koopa Kid's water type, and I'll send Brussels in to do some collective whooping on his tricolored butt, or bicolored, rather, if you take a look at him. Hmm. I don't know, I'll leave that to speculation by viewers. But, um, honestly, this was recorded about six months ago, so I cannot remember why I did the things I did, or why I didn't just use Leech Seed right away. Because it would probably have been smarter than slowly chipping down at him. Mm hmm. Let's see, what was I talking about? Monkeys, ponies, dogs. Penguin! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um. Professor Layton? Was that what I was talking about? Uh, no, no, I can't remember. Oh, crap. And see, Porygon, he is locking on, he is sharpening, he is doing all these things, but he is not attacking. And here's where I kind of think that, okay, if he used Tri-Attack that, like that, it would be super effective, because two of the three elements that he used on me are super effective against Brussel. Brussels. I Wait, his name is Brussel, not Brussels. I feel like a moron now. So why does it, like, how does Tri-Attack be super effective or not effective or whatever? I s have never understood that. The battle's just beginning, you know, it's not a vaccine into the programming, oh crap, in a bucket, and they're going to the real world somehow. Ash, quickly, I must transport you back to the real world of uh, virus traps. You didn't trap them. Digital world forever, hang on, three, two, one, go! Go, speed racer! Um, thank you, retard. Uh, save Porygon, no, I killed Porygon, and yeah, that, that was some bad news right there. Uh, I'm not sure why I'm looking at the town map, but, hmm, alright, good enough. Whatever, a uh, good chance to talk to you guys. Um, so, I kind of got caught up in taking a crap load of AP classes and all of that kind of fun school stuff and stopped doing videos and twittering and all that stuff that I love doing ever so much. Imi House of Imite? Did I go there? I think I did with the, with the ditto and... Wait, wasn't that just last episode? I'm not on Cinnabar Island. Ugh, oh, this is confusing. Ugh. Okay, so anyway, we were just tried... A nerd tried to kill us by sending us into spy, cyberspace, and we went all Matrix on his butt. But now our Pokemon are back to health, and they'll see us again. And I think this was originally going to be another segment, because we had like three, four crazy things happening all at once. But you're not going to believe what happens now. And I honestly do not remember this from the anime. This part. I remember... I kind of remember the cyberspace thing that it got banned, and there's this random jinx standing here, and you talk to it. You talk to it. Get on it, Ash. Talk to the darn thing. Um, okay, for some reason I'm just walking in circles around it for some reason that I cannot comprehend. It's jinx carrying a boot. Why is it carrying a boot? Do we know? On the- what? Okay, this is- this is just weird. Why- why did it have a boot in the first place? And now there's a Lapras magically appearing, and it talks and says, You're on the right path! And it says, Come with me! Yeah, I'm getting on that thing. Santa lost his boot in this chinks a few days ago. Oh, Santa- okay, so for some reason the boot has a picture of Santa. I can take you to the north to meet him. Would you like to go? 
Um, honestly, hopping on a blue thing, going into the deep abyss, yes, no, I really, well, yes, fine, for the sake of plot progression, and suddenly we're at the North Pole, which is apparently a cave, a sunny tropical cave. Uh, wow. Um, I deleted a lot of these encounters for the sake of time. This video is already, like, over ten minutes. It's over nine thousand seconds, except probably not. This, because what you find up here are Jinx, which you cannot escape from, apparently, Seal, and Dugong. And the Seal, I cut all those out because you come across them more than you can say Mankey Cakes. But, uh. Okay, so anyway, uh. Oh yeah, so about that new Edge Grey Beta thing, I'm definitely gonna do a walkthrough of it, because it is... I love the idea for this game in the first place, and I think it's really well executed. I'm just checking every rock for some kind of hidden thing. I guess I didn't end up this very well, but I wanted to get this video out, so... Whoa, I can walk on rocks. Oh. Are those, like, little snow piles? Can I walk on all of them? I hope so. I like walking on snow. Yay! Except where I live, I don't really get a lot of snow. My grandparents get a ton of snow, though, so I go there. Ice heal, which is probably a good thing to put in the North Pole. Mm, and that was a seal again, I guess. I know there's one dugong encounter that I kept in, because I thought, hooray, I can kill this thing, and I probably did. Shelter! Oh, I forgot, there was shelter here. And because I put blazer up front, because I thought, sweet, ice types, I can totally butcher some things. But I kept running into seal that kept using water gun on me and killing me, so I kept cutting those out and just running away. Mm, so we're walking along the iceberg. Mm, I don't know. When I get... Whoa, Pokeball. Sweet. Ash found a big pearl. Sweet. Sweet. And there's the dugong. Mm, I probably said sweet multiple times, so I'm thinking about cookies. Because my mom made a ton of cookies, and they're yummy. And Aurora Beam. And I'm having some really weird random thoughts lately, and I, I cannot control them. Must speak things. And... Eh. I'm not used to making videos this long. It's killing my intelligence level. But I really don't want to have to re-narrate this, because I tried about ten times to get the opening down, and I kept saying, this is the triple me, the burrs, or all kinds of weird, cracky stuff. But, signal beam, in that bug type? Oh, come on, if it is, why did that do so much damage? I mean, I know it was critical, and... Uh, ha! Oh, you got burned, you gong! And, yes, I love it when there's that little bit that's just enough to kill him, but when you get him down to that little bit, and you think, yes, I can catch this little pile of crap, ice, fish, dolphin thing, but then they get burned or poisoned and they die and you're just kind of left sitting there going, dude, why is there a wall in the way of my stairs? But I digress. And okay, there is nothing in any of the rocks. What the heck? Why would you not bury something in rocks? Um, dude, go in the door. Jesus Christ, Ash. Santa's workshop. Um, nice. Let's go in. All right. And, dude, the door. Jesus Christ, on a cracker. And, wow, Santa, is this like the rocket laboratory down here that he's got? It looks kind of like it. Come here, Jinx. Shoot you. Are you the one with the boat? I don't think so. Jinx, Jinx, Jinx. Mm, Jinx, you owe me a soda. Yes, you do. But I can't tell you apart, so both of you just buy me a six-pack. Santa's workshop. Hmm. What's back here? Uh, nothing. Can never tell if there's another layer of, like, tiles back there and you can walk behind it. And where- you know the thing where you kind of walk behind a wall and you only see the top of your head? Yeah, what, whatever I was talking about. What could this machine be? Better not mess around with it! It's Santa's machine for sort of, like, the naughty kids and the nice kids, right? Dude, the other side of the machine, they're not gonna tell you what it is. It's gonna be more complicating. Complicated. Ah. Okay. I know I had a cold, but now I feel like I've got some kind of speech disease. Mm, I believe on Boston Legal they called it word salad. And I can walk over the arms of chairs. Hail Satan! I mean, Ash. Ashy boy. And oddly placed cushions. I've, I don't know why I'm not just talking to that guy, which is Santa, apparently. I guess I'm trying to talk to the Pokeball. I really don't know, though. You know, he does kind of look like Santa. I appreciate that. Oh, my boot! I brought the boot. I was afraid that I'd have to deliver all the children's arrows presents without it, and my toes, arrow, would freeze. Oh, I got some ice heal. I can totally help you out with that. Thank you so much, Ash. As your reward, here's your Christmas present. I'm sorry, did you not know Ash is Jewish? I got a Poke doll. Sweet. I'm so happy. I'm a boy. Of course I wanted a doll for Christmas. 
thank you, and I am now going to sue you, Santa, because you are discriminating against me, who does not celebrate a cru- again. Let me start over. Okay. Ah, screw it. Screw you all. Well, not not you guys, but you know Santa and his little jinxes and stuff. Yeah, totally. And see, oh, see, you gotta see the feel this time. Wait, no. Oh, oh my god. I'm so sorry. Sfeel. No, not Sfeel. Those are those little ugly round things. Seal. Okay. Uh, I am seriously having a brain fart. It's only 8 o'clock at night. Have you done everything you wanted to do at the North Pole? Would you like to return to the Kanto region? I really thought the North Pole was in Kanto, but I guess it's in Johto or something. Very well. Let's go. Pokeball. Can I catch and kill Lapras or something? Oh, crap. This is... Oh, wait, no. I've still got a minute left. What What did I do for a minute? I can't remember. I probably went to the Pokemon Center. Go up, Ash. Northwards. Northwards versus upwards. Ah, the problem of Flatland. Um, whoa, random math book reference. Um, let's see. So, I go... I think Ash is seriously wasted in this episode. He cannot go indoors. He cannot go to Santa's laboratory. I mean, Santa's, uh... Little Christmas shop, yeah, that's what he's doing on there. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. Can we take your order? Oh wait, no. Um, I'll have six healed Pokemon and a side of Poke Fries. Yeah, burn, Moguba, burn. Thank you for waiting. Um, I'm feeling British today. I'm not gay. I'm just British. Ah, uh, uh, I'm so angry when I heard that LK got banned right before Christmas. I went no. Oh, anyone know how Dad has been doing? I've been a little out of touch with everything. Oh my God. Dude, it's Pikachu! Holy cow, I love you! Okay, Pikachu, can I sit on your lap and tell you my wish? Well, that's it for this walkthrough, but see you guys hopefully tomorrow! Oh, and I wanted to pass along one final message. I know I've been totally out of touch, but thank you so much for everyone that inspired me to get back on the horse. Thank you so much, everyone.